Now we're going to do the sugar tong splint, often used for the Collie's fracture. Mm -hmm. And let, first, let's let's measure it out. How do we? How long do we want this to be? Um, we want to go wrap around the elbow. Start at the elbow, and of course, we'll be doing this on the unaffected side with the with the broken arm. Correct. So wrap around, and you want to go. You so, want to be functional, so we're going to give you your fingers. Okay. So you don't want the fingers included in these. And a, and a key that, that I learned, and tell me this is the way you do it, is to stop it at the MCP so that this yes. joint stays mobile. Yes, yes. All right, so we're going to go a little longer so we've got some room to play with. Mm -hmm. All right, so we went from here, we went from the knuckles on the dorsum of the hand all the way back around to just past the MCP, so just, just past the proximal crease right here. All right, we are going for our sugar tongue splint, and the f step number one is to put on the stockinette. Correct. Okay, and we're putting on the stockinette to help protect from sweating and just skin irritation from the splint. Correct. 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 And, you know, maceration is just comes, it's huge. All right, hang on. Dude, look at this guy. Should we break him up first? <laughs> All right, so we've got a little hole for the thumb right there in the, in the stockinette. No, it's okay. Come on in, Hans. You're, you're, you're part of the whole thing. All right, so this stockinette's going from right here from about my, my, here, my, my PIP all the way up on my elbow, to, to essentially to my, to my deltoid, so we've got a lot of room to play with. Yes. All right. I'm on it, so next, next step. All right, so I have the fiberglass all laid out. Fiberglass. It's like we're at an oyster farm. So many pearls. Yes. So this is the fiberglass? You've got it. Yep. You add it. I add it. All right, so here's what's going to come out of the box, like this. Here's the fiberglass. Here's the padding. Here's the edges of the padding. Here's your fiberglass. And this is the surface here that goes against my skin. That Yeah, don't reverse surface. it. Don't put this against the skin. Bad mistake. And that's been cut back a little bit. Yep. Right there. Leave a little, because we're going to fold that over, and that's where you're going to bend your fingers into that soft spot, not into rough fiberglass. Now, we said we're going to make it super safe. So she cut it, and she added four layers of Weberl right here to it. So this is the stock padding and extra padding. And this is, is, is this... You can't uh, go wrong with this. And this is, a, this is a super nice. This alone will be safe mm -hmm. right here. They'll be safe, but this just makes it extra comfortable. Yep. Okay. That you, you're not going to... Yeah, then you know, really no foul. So here's where the fiberglass... We've got to move because it's going up. It only goes to the hollow. So you're starting out right here. Your here's the, starts out there. The fold will be like that. So here's the MP flexion place. Bring it around here, up the back. What a perfect measuring job. And there we are. And we're really going to make it pretty with now, the stockinette. And now we're, we're folding the stockinette back over top. Next step. Number one, thumb is going through that hole. That's your anchor point. Yep. And I can feel, and, and I think just instinctively, Hans is holding, the, holding my hand in that, in that pressure position. Yeah. So we start, the wrapping starts up on the hand and is working back towards the elbow. Yep. And I've just gone around the elbow. It's on the dorsal and the volar side, and that's it. And this, and this is actually really loose, the, uh, the, the wrapping is. So I don't feel yeah, the any loose, extra Yeah, the wrap should be very loose. Did you know this, this, is, a, this is a beautiful splint. <laughs> and then, so, be, so before this second wrap goes on, the stockinette is pulled forward so that you have this nice edge at the end. Yep. Yeah. Tell them it's going to drip. It always drips off the side. That's where the water goes that direction. I'm glad I didn't wear cashmere. Yeah. Exactly. And I think these ace wraps are pretty nice. I mean, these are easy to get off. They mm -hmm. just Velcro themselves, and, and instinctively you set it. I mean, I'm holding the three-point pressure. One, <laughs> two, one, one, two, three. So to get it in that right place, one, two, three. Boom. He just had his collies reduced. And that's where I'm putting the pressure now. That's where the squeeze of the shape of the splint is. And then you just massage down in here to say, okay, we got it on his arm. So I've got 90 degrees at my elbow. 
I've got no feel, rotation. Feels like about 10 degrees of flexion at my wrist, mm -hmm. and about feels like about 10 degrees of ulnar deviation. And you've got no totally neutral, no rotation this way, neutral. And there you go. What now? What what do you see goes wrong with these when they come back into you? When you see a splint, you, and and you say, "Oh, I wish it wasn't that way." Okay. There's full MP flexion. So the splint can be out to here, and they only have this. Now, little old lady, you may be doing her a favor. Put it out to here and just let her move that much. That's all she'll, he or she will move. Great, because the splint's coming off in a week. So bring it back to here. It's too, it's not padded well enough. So, so insufficient padding. And the splint is put on. Now we're here. We think we got it. And, I'm, and I, I got it. I'm just holding that reduction position, and I just have to make sure I have the pressure. I'm going to turn it like that. And what I just did was pronate him. His elbow didn't turn, and I'm turning that splint into a twist. Oh, i got to hold that mold. Oh, oh, oh. And now when you come out of the splint, you got this, this thing bent, and I'm exaggerating, bent way over. It should be back over here with so no my, my rotation. My thumb is pointing right back at my body. Yeah. It's not pointing away, not pointing that right. way, right back at it should me. should be right where th this... It isn't pronated, it isn't supinated. And too much flexion. I gotta hold that mold, I, I, I just need to do more. And they'll come in way down like this. It, it doesn't have to be that far down. This just needs to be flat. One line. And then of course if they're on backwards, or the edge, here's the fiberglass jabbing into your there's a big kink down in here. We've just taken a minute with the hands to just roll this. There's a big big jab of fiberglass jabbing into your electron because this wasn't just kind of smoothed out.